Bonjour. Are we in Japan? Some new au Japon? No, we are in Paris. And today we're going to discover all the amazing or not so amazing places of ramen. Donc, allons-y. Wow. Mm. Delicious. Wow. Delicious. Et maintenant, and now, we're in one of the most famous ramen addresses à Paris. C'est un des plus connus. You probably saw it all over social media. Ça s'appelle Kodawari Ramen. And it's inspired from the fish market straight from Japan called the Tsukiji Fish Market. And you can hear the sounds like as if you're in Japan and it feels like vraiment l'environnement. T'as l'impression d'y être. You feel like you're there. And we're going to try the two special ramens that um, the restaurant manager in French recommended me. Donc, allons goûter. So, j'ai commandé. I ordered le paitan ramen qui est fait de la dorade. Dorade is a type of sea bass. And it's the chef's one because there's the normal one. Il y a le normal. Mais il y a aussi le spécial de chef. So they add la joue du poisson, they add tamago, which is egg. They also add a few other things. I love how I'm hearing Irashai Masse the whole time. Parce que on est au Japon, because we're in Japan. Allons goûter ce ramen. Wow, délicieux. And I didn't mention it for all the ramen places I tested all over Paris. Mais en fait, ce qui fait un ramen parfait, what makes a perfect ramen, c'est l'équilibre. It's the balance. Between the soup, the noodles, the tare, the toppings, and the oil. And c'est cet équilibre, it's this balance actually, that makes un super bon ramen. And let me know which ones of these places in Paris you've tried before, que t'as déjà goûté avant and which one you prefer dans les commentaires and bon appétit in one of my favorite streets, my favorite street, which is called Rue Sainte Anne, where there are all the amazing Asian restaurant addresses. And we are in a place, a ramen restaurant called Menkichi. And Menkichi, c'est là où il y a nos ramen favoris, one of my favorite places pour le ramen. Et là, j'ai commandé le shoyu ramen, which is the original one. C'est absolument délicieux. Normalement, normally there's actually queues to come here, but if you come a little earlier, like I would say probably before 7 or before 6, then il y a beaucoup de place. And right behind me you can even read the mangas. Donc allons goûter, let's go taste this. So let's taste le bouillon, let's taste the soup. Mm. I like the original one, a little bit more than shoyu. Parce que c'est pas trop salé. It's not too salty. Yeah, that's, that's the one, yeah. And I don't know if you've seen this. Alright, let's taste the noodles, les nouilles. Delicieux, le ramen. Absolument délicieux, super delicious. So today we are in Yatai Ramen. Um, I actually tried another one of their dresses, but it's the first time that I tried here. C'est la première fois. Et on va goûter leur ramen iconique, signature, their signature ramen, qui s'appelle le ramen du foie gras. I can't wait to try. Nous avons les algues, le seaweed, le foie gras, 
la truffe, le gnocchi champignon et les œufs. It's, it's flavorful. You have the... Voilà, en fait. On sent bien la viande, le côté très euh, mm. viandard, comme on oui. dit en France. <rire> viandard, a lot of meat. Et la truffe, bon. la truffe, ouais. c'est infusé un peu à l'intérieur, donc on fait aussi le champignon. Ouais, mais c'est un mélange de savoir incroyable. Ouais, ouais. Il, y a, il y a la truffe, mais il y a aussi le wagyu. Mm. C'est... Euh, jamais, go bon. jamais goûté un ramen comme ça. Ouais. Let's go. Alors, Ready? Oui. Wow, mm. délicieux. Qu'est-ce que t'en penses? The texture okay. is really nice. It's tender. It's really kind of a, you know, a bit uh, squishy on the teeth, you know. Ouais. It's not like a, it's not al dente. It's not too cooked. Le poids gras et la soupe mm. même était la meilleure partie. Mm. Genre, juste la soupe by itself, just the soup by itself. Ouais. Ça suffit pour. Je pourrais manger que ça. Mm. Et toi? Tu ouais. penses que? Juste la soupe, c'est un, une bonne entrée. Ça oui, pourrait être juste de l'entrée. Ouais. Juste comme un bouillon, un bouillon de volaille. J'adore la miso soup. I mm. love miso soup. Mais là, c'est un autre type de broth. C'est encore ouais, meilleur. C'est encore meilleur. Ouais. Avec le foie gras, c'est super mm. bon. And just like that, mon micro a arrêté de marcher. My mic wasn't able to work for the last ramen places so i'm gonna just explain it to you the one of them was called the sapporo so sapporo is also located in rue saint anne so that's the holy grail area of asian uh, amazing addresses and japanese uh, restaurants so i definitely recommend for you to go there and for the sapporo it was cheap so it's really good like budget wise and it was quite delicious and they also have like seasonal foods so in the summer you know they have like cold noodles and they also have chukaleoli which is chinese japanese food so like cuisine chinoise japonaise meaning that it's chinese food that's made in japan for the other one we have kaloya which i was disappointed because i'd heard good things about it but c'était trop salé it was too salty so after we had had the ramen après ce qu'on a mangé i felt like i was so thirsty j'avais très très soif and i don't think this is a good sign for a good ramen place so i don't recommend that even though that people say it's part of really good ramen so if i had to rank them i would say that there's first Kodawari and actually I take that back there's I would say that Menkichi and Kodawari are on the same level le même niveau because Kodawari is very famous to everyone people go there people have this address in mind but Menkichi is like a hidden gem Japanese ramen place I wish I discovered it earlier it's very authentic the chefs are actually Japanese too and I go there quite often c'est très très délicieux so definitely Kodawari and Menkichi and Yatai Ramen c'était super it was great but I feel like it was a bit pricey and also the one that I had in particular was very pricey. So I think it's good for like a modern Japanese ramen place. Mais c'était très bon aussi. And lastly, I would put the Sapporo and Kadoya. Sapporo, c'est très bien pour le budget, for the budget, for an affordable, yummy, delicious place. And I have recently gone to taste more types of different foods because Paris c'est such a rich city, c'est une ville très internationale, it's such an international city avec beaucoup de différents de types de cuisine, lots of types of cuisines, on a la cuisine indienne, la cuisine asiatique, on a la cuisine sud-américaine, um, du Moyen-Orient, like we have so many types of cuisines from all over the world that are actually done very well. So if you want me to taste some more or for 
a particular country, the addresses que je conseille à Paris. I would love to do that. And if you enjoyed today's video, let me know in the comments what you liked and if they have good authentic ramen. And if you are Japanese, let me know if you feel like these are authentic places parce que je ne suis pas sûr. I'm not sure if a Japanese local person would find these places to be very authentic. So I'm very curious about your opinion. And I hope that you follow me on Instagram as well because on there I post also addresses in carousel and photos and so you can just save it and have the photos there as well. I also tasted French pastries recently that I really loved so if you haven't gone to check that out go ahead and watch that video it was so fun to make and there are so many amazing hidden gems at Paris but other than that I hope you enjoyed today's video and I hope to see you soon into the next one subscribe if you're new here et merci beaucoup thank you so much et à bientôt see you soon <laughs>